Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, I picked up this Full Metal Panic RK92 Savage model kit from um, Good Smile Company. Uh, you might recognize their name. They produce a lot of uh, really good anime figurines uh, in hopes of uh, incorporating it with some Marvel figures for a photo shoot. Um, so yeah, just kind of doing this to show you um, what I'm up to, first of all. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Looks like it could be a good, uh, like, bad guy or training droid for the X-Men. And I'm hoping, the way it looks, it'll be the right around the right scale uh, to, you know, to the Marvel Legends. But I don't know yet. So I'm just showing you the box. See what it looks like. Pretty nice box, as you know. Japanese models are usually the boxes eye candy anyway. Um, yeah, just pick this up. Uh, let me show you the inside and then I'll probably build it and then add to the video later. So let's see how complicated it is. Okay, there you go. We got some instructions. Pretty straightforward like a Gundam it looks like it has a <clears throat> like a skeleton that you build first and then you click everything on yeah it looks exactly basically like a Gundam model kit let's take a look I haven't built a model in quite a long time, so I don't know if I want to start painting it first or figure out how it works um, before I even get to that um, point of, you know, beautifying it. Um, it does look a little bit smaller, but I'm hoping it'll stand at least five to six inches, so it could be like a training droid, so it looks more like the exoskeleton. The shell, if you will. And more parts. I do want to do some weathering, some weather damage and stuff. See how it would look. Um, yeah, because as you can see, the weapons are pretty scaled too, like a Marvel Legends. So I'm quite hopeful. Nice little machete there. And this looks like the skeleton. So this will be quite a fun project. So yeah, I guess bye for now. I will attach the video of it like post building. Uh, I'm not gonna do a time lapse on this. I, th this takes too much time, <laughs> ironically. Um, yeah, I guess in the next shot, you will see it built. Okay, well, here it is. It's all built. Uh, like I said, I'd cut right to it. Uh, it didn't take too long. Kind of took half the day um, just, you know, to take my time with uh, building it and not lose any pieces. I do recommend, like, snips like this, which are more precise to cut the, the you know, the rigging or whatever you call it, the skeleton. Um, I did discover a new technique for painting because I didn't want to paint paint it really, but I wanted to give it a weathered look. And maybe I'll do a video just on that for the next one. Um, but as you can see, it stands at about five inches. Um, this is perfect because that's exactly what I wanted it for. I wanted it to be like a danger room drone uh, for the X-Men figures. So yeah, worked out great. Um, yeah, I recommend building it. It's a good, like, um, beginner to intermediate model maker. Uh, I'm not going to do too much painting on it. I think the weathered look looks really good just, um, on its own. Um, I do have a green one, so I don't know how I'm going to get the same effect. So I might need to paint that one. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, do all the likes and subscribes if you're interested in this channel. I'm just going to do some interesting things while we're in this um, quarantine madness. Anyway, talk to you later.